Space Warp is an awesome tool which can get up to 70% performance on your quest games and today I'm going to show you how to enable this in Unity. So there are a few steps and we need a few things. So first of all we need a custom URP uh, package. Second we need the latest version of the Oculus integration. We need the latest preview of the Oculus XR plugin or a latest version if it's out of preview. And you need to configure some settings. So first I'm going to show you step by step how to add a your project if you already have an existing one. And in the end I'm going to show you a project which already has everything enabled so you can just get started and build upon that. So first let's get started with the custom packages. So in the Oculus application space warp guide for Unity, if you scroll down all the way to the setup, you can here click the branch and it will take you to the Unity 2020 branch. So that's also a thing, this works in Unity 2020 LTS on the 2020.3.20 or later versions, but always get the latest long-term standing if you can. This also works on Unity 2021 LTS, and the setup is slightly different, so if you want me to make a video about that, drop a comment down below and I will make the video in a bit. So first you need to clone this repo. This can be a bit of a hassle because you cannot just click code and download zip because not all the files are downloaded. That's why there's a project in the description below so you can download this, the download links are just there, and you can download the required files. So from this you need to have the core render pipeline, you need to have the universal render pipeline package and the shader graph package. So right now I already got all of those downloaded, so they are right here. And to add these, you can right click here, click show in Explorer, and now you're in the project settings and you need to go to packages and here paste all these things. So select them all, copy, paste them right here and let them copy over. So once this is added, this overwrites the changes in the manifest.json file and we will open this in just a second. And now we're going to install the latest Oculus integration. So if you don't have it already, you can go to this link in the description below to the Oculus integration page. Click add to my assets and add it to your assets. Once there, you can go to window, package manager, and in my assets right here. Also right here, you can see all the custom packages right here. Go to my assets, search for Oculus and add the Oculus package. And right here, there's something fairly important. You don't need anything from this except the VR package. So if you want to use lip sync, voice, spatializer, or whatever, you totally can. But the VR package is the only thing required to get Space Warp working. So I'm just going to sell this one. Again, if you need any else or if you already got anything else on a project, definitely update those. But otherwise, just get the VR one. Click import and again, let it load. It will now ask you to update. I'm just going to click yes. Use OpenXR because this only works in the OpenXR runtime. And again, it will load a bit. And to ask you to restart, so simply click restart and it should boot up in just a second. So right now we got the three folders right here. And next step, which is the last download, we are going to get the latest Oculus XR plugin. For this, go to Edit, Project Settings, and right here, click on XR Plugin Management, install it. Once installed, under Android, you want, of course, the Oculus package. And again, if you already got a project, this should already be enabled if you're developing for the Quest. Once installed, you can see the Oculus package right here, and you see there is no Space Warp support yet. This is because this is limited to the latest preview version. So again, go back to the folder of the packages. So click here, show Explorer, go to packages and open the manifest JSON file in whatever you want. To show this, I'm going to open this in Visual Studio because that's what we're all used to. Once here, you need to make sure you have the latest 2.0 release from the Oculus XR plugin. Right now, this is the preview version, but if this is the latest stable version, you can simply grab the stable one. But for now, I'm going to copy the preview name. So that's 2.0.2 preview one. Go back to Visual Studio and paste this in the Oculus XR plugin right here. Save this and now it should install the latest preview version. 
Now if you expand experimental, you can see here we got application space warp, finally. So here enable support. To counter the latency issues, you could also enable late latching. This will improve the latency of the game and that kind of counters the increased latency of application space warp. And you can enable the other optimizations if you want. Now the next settings we need to do, here you need to make sure it actually uses the universal render pipeline. Again, if you already got this project set up in the, in the universal render pipeline, this should be added already. Otherwise, make a new asset by going to create, rendering universal render pipeline and the forward renderer. And you can basically use this at default. You might want to disable HDR and enable anti-aliasing or whatever, but this is not to this video, that's something else. You can check my performance videos another time. So here, make sure the universal render pipeline as it is enabled. And also in the graphics, make sure the same is done. Once there, we need to go to player settings. And here are the final setting changes. First of all, set the color space to linear. Change to linear. And this is so it looks more realistic. And also linear is supported in the latest Oculus versions and Gamma might have some issues with OpenXR in the future. Now the graphics API, we need to make sure Vulkan is enabled because application space warp and other new features for Oculus only works on Vulkan. Once that's there, remove OpenGLES by pressing the minus button and then it should default to Vulkan when building to your quest. Next, if we close this, we need to actually enable space warp. So support is added, but we need to enable this and this is in a script. I'm going to create a new script. If you already got a graphics manager or whatever, you can use that. But for me, I'm going to have a new script and call it quest settings. Open it up. And this part pretty much is the easiest. Whenever you want, you can call OVR manager. Shoot autofill in a moment. Set space warp to true. And that's all there is to it. You can enable and disable this whenever you want. So if you have a really intense fight with like quick actions, you might want to disable it for the better latency. And otherwise you can enable this for the better performance and better battery life. So save this, exit, and now I'm going to add a VR player. Again, if you have an existing project, then you might not need this, but I of course need it. You don't have to use the Oculus VR rig. You can use your own camera rig or whatever. You just need to enable the script somewhere. And right now, if you go to build and you build to your Oculus Quest, it should work and Space Warp should be enabled. You can check this with the logcat package, which is right here in the package manager under Unity Registry and here logcat. This could look the results or on your quest itself, you can have the OVR metrics. That's for another video. The links are in the description, of course, but simply click build and run and it should work. So there's already a pre-done project on my GitHub. So if you want to enable Space Warp and get it working, you can do so by going down in the description below, downloading project and simply starting for there. This skips this whole setup and you might need to know how to change a few things in the future, but then you don't have to go through the hassle of doing all these steps yourself and everything is pre-done for you and the settings are a bit more optimized. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. Again, if you want to see more or have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below. I would love to help and I'll see you in the next video.